The scene painted in the Bible, God's command to Adam is both touching and heartwarming. Is so intimate we start to feel wonder, wonder and admiration. God's love overflowing is freely given to man. God's love is around him, man innocent and pure. Without. Tie him down 
position All he has and all he is Helps people gain confidence Obey and fear him No longer blindly follow Nor blindly worship him God does not want fools But those who have clear understanding Of God's disposition They can act as God's witnesses
to be made perfect Loyal and obedient to God Faithfully performing their function All of them can be made perfect I don't want to forsake or cast out Any of those among you But if you don't strive to do well You'll only ruin yourself It's you, not me, that we do out God's wish is for every person To be gained by Him in the end To be totally cleansed by Him God wishes to make all perfect And become people that Become people that He loves. It's a fact when I say you're backward, or when I say you're of poor caliber. Doesn't mean I intend to forsake you or lose hope, unwilling to save you. Today I have come to continue my salvation work for you. Everyone has a chance to be made perfect. Just be willing and pursue. It will work in the end. None will be forsaken. God's wish is for every person to be gained by Him in the all perfect and become people that He loves and become people that He loves I want everyone to catch up have holy spirits work in life to obey until the very end for this is duty you all should do when duty's all done you'll find yourself perfected you'll have great testimony defeating satan and gaining god's promise you will be those who remain to live in a destination so good. God's wish is for every person to be gained by Him in the end, to be totally cleansed by Him. God's wish is to make all perfect. Your devotion and sincerity are both things that are only temporary. That your aspirations and the price that you pay are only in place. 
for now and not for then the beautiful destination you wish to gain you only want to make one final effort for your one and only purpose is to make a trade not to avoid being indebted to the truth and it is not particularly to repay paying god back for the price that he has paid you wish to take what you want by strategy and never to age open battle for it do not disguise yourselves nor rack your brains over your destination so much so that you are unable to eat or sleep won't your outcome have already been fixed if you can follow your conscience and give your all spare no effort for god's word with your duty with open hearts be willing to do whatever it may take for any who suffered or paid a price for him when the day comes god won't mistreat a single one this kind of conviction is worth holding on to you should never forget it and god will be at ease if you're unable to achieve this god will never put his mind at ease and you'll always and forever be the object Their destinations were determined by what they sought from the beginning, not by the amount of work they did or people's estimation of them. Seeking the keenly to your duty as God's creature leads to success. 
Jesus Seeking the path of true love of God Is the most correct path for God's creatures Seeking changes in your disposition And loving God purely leads to success Such a path to success is the path of getting the original duty And the original appearance of one who is a creature of God It's also the aim of all of God's work from the very beginning to the end Seeking the kingly to your duty God's creature leads to success Seeking the path of true love of God Is the most correct path for God's creatures Seeking changes in your disposition And loving God purely leads to success Whoa. Pursuit of man is tainted with extravagant demands and longings. The man's disposition will not change. It's at odds with the recovery work. It's not done by the Holy Spirit. This proof such pursuit is interproved by God. And what significance it could have when it is not approved of by Seeking the king lead to your duty As God's creature leads to success Seeking the path of true love of God Is the most correct path for God's creatures Seeking changes in your disposition And loving God purely leads to success Spiritual meaning of 
many truths and unlock the mysteries of His Word. If you don't practice God's Word, no matter how clear it may be, all you grasp is empty letters and doctrines which will have become religious regulations. Isn't that just what the Pharisees did? If you believe in God, hope for eternal life, but don't practice God. Man speaks of letting God be their life But they have yet to experience this They merely say that God is their life And that He guides them every day That they read So he has become their life Their knowledge is so superficial
reached a point when you pray or read and drink God's words, your heart will be unable to leave God. You won't be able to forget Him. God will. your true life and love for God. When man's love for God reaches a point, nothing compares to the love of God. Thus, they're able to give up all things and can accept all of God's dealings. Though Job had never seen God or heard his words, Job had a place in his heart for God. His attitude toward God was, Blessed be Jehovah's name. He blessed God's name without condition, regardless of context and bound to no reason. Job had given
Job's thoughts and actions reached God's ears and eyes and were seen as important to him. God cherished this knowledge of this man and treasured him. of coming to know God's Word is coming to know God and know His work. Knowing visions means to know God in flesh, His humanity, God's Word and His work. From the Word of God, man comes to know God. From the Word of God, they realize God's will from God's work they know God's disposition From the work of God they know what God is Knowing God is the final effect That's achieved when God's work is complete The last demand that God makes of man It's for his final testimony reason God does this work is that man may fully turn to him at last. Faith in God is the first step to knowing God. The early faith grows to very profound It's the process of coming to know God And experiencing the work He does If your faith in God is just to believe And it's not for the sake of knowing Him then there's no reality to your faith There's no doubt you're not pure in your belief Knowing God is the final effect That's achieved when God's work is complete The last demand that God makes of man It's for his final testimony reason God does this work is that man may fully turn to him at last. If in the process man goes through God's work, man 
man gradually comes to know God. His disposition will then slowly change. His belief becomes even more honest. When man succeeds in his belief in God, by that time he'll have completely gained God. God went great lengths to become flesh again so that man could know and also see God. Knowing God is the final effect that's achieved when God's work is complete. The last demand that God makes of man it's for his final testimony. The reason God does this work is that man may fully turn to him at last. Man can only come to love God by knowing God and to love God. Man must come to understand God No matter what or how he seeks He must be able to know God It's the sole way to meet God's will Must come before God, read and ponder His words, accept His guidance. Submit to all people, things and matters that God has arranged for you. When it comes to things you cannot fathom, you must pray often while seeking the truth. Only by Will can you find a way forward? You must be in reverence of God. Do what you should and do it cautiously. Be at peace before God and reject the butchery. If something happens to you at first. Calm yourself and then pray right away With prayer, waiting and seeking You will understand God's will If you can revere and submit to God And be quiet before Him And grasp His will You will be protected
With regard to the evil nature of Satan and to the corrupt disposition of mankind, God never argues or bickers with anyone or makes a fuss when people do ignorant things, God's own view are never similar to man's you won't see him use man's viewpoints or their knowledge he won't use their science or philosophy or even their imagination to handle things
spirit guiding the whole human race which of them would still exist in the present age in the past i said i have created humanity guided the whole of humanity Things isn't enough. The mere phrase service to work should be enough for you. Enough for you to spend a lifetime's effort explaining in detail. With no real experience, people won't come to know me through my words. But today I've come. Yes, I have come into your midst Won't this let you get to know me? Could it be my incarnation? Isn't also salvation for you? If I did not descend into mankind in my own person They'd have been permeated long ago by their own Satan, it has nothing at all to do with God Himself. If I did not descend into mankind in my own person, they'd have been permeated long ago by their own notions, becoming Satan's possessions for what you. It has nothing at all to do with God himself Is this not my salvation?
Because